Exercise 8. Lottery Supply uses a sales journal, a purchases journal, a cash receipts journal, a cash disbursements journal, and a general journal. The following transactions occur in the month of April, and we're asked to journalize the April transactions that should be recorded in the cash disbursements journal. Lauder uses a perpetual inventory system. The cash disbursements journal is used to record any transaction that includes a credit to cash, cash outflow. April 3rd, purchase merchandise for $3,500 on credit from ACO Inc. Terms 310 net 30. This is a non-cash transaction and is excluded from the cash disbursements journal. April 9th, issued check number 210 to Major Corp to buy store supplies for $560. This transaction is recorded in the Cash Disbursements Journal. On April 9th, check number 210 is issued to the Major Corp. The account debited is Store Supplies. The credit to cash, the cash disbursement, is $560. Inventory is not credited. And the other account, Store Supplies, is debited for $560. Accounts payable is unaffected. April 12th, sold merchandise costing $610 on credit to N. Rogers for $1,025, terms net 30. This is a non-cash transaction and is excluded from the Cash Disbursements Journal. April 17th, issued check number 211 for $1,500 to pay off a note payable to Citibank. This is a cash disbursement and will include it in the Cash Disbursements Journal. On April 17th, check number 211 made payable to Citibank. The account debited is notes payable. The cash disbursement, the credit to cash, is $1,500. Inventory is not affected. Notes payable, the other account, is debited for $1,500. And this does not affect accounts payable. April 20th, purchase merchandise for $4,100 on credit from Factow, terms 310 net 30. This is a non-cash transaction. We do not include it in the Cash Disbursements Journal. April 28th, issued check number 212 to facto to pay the amount due for the purchase of April 20th, less the discount. On April 28th, check number 212 was written, payable to the facto company. The account debited is the subsidiary account within accounts payable, our vendor facto. The credit to cash is for the net amount after the 3% discount. When we return to the April 20th transaction, the total amount we were billed was $4,100. By paying within 10 days, the credit to cash is reduced by 3%. $4,100 minus 3% of $4,100 is a credit to cash of $3,977. By paying within the discount period, we reduce the cost of the inventory. Therefore, we credit the inventory account for the $123 discount. There is no other account being debited. Accounts payable is debited for $4,100. The journal entry to record payment within the discount period is a debit to accounts payable $4,100, a credit to inventory for $123, and a credit to cash for $3,977. April 29th, paid salary of $2,450 to M. Robbins by issuing check number 213. This is a cash disbursement. On April 29th, we issued check number 213, payable to M. Robbins. The account debited is salary's expense. We credit cash for $2,450. We do not affect the inventory account, and the other account being debited, salary's expense, is for $2,450. This transaction does not affect accounts payable. April 30th, issued check number 214 to ACO Inc. to pay the amount due for the purchase of April 3rd. Returning to the April 3rd transaction, this was a $3,500 purchase with terms of 310 net 30. We did not pay within the discount period, therefore we are not eligible for the 3% reduction. The journal entry when payment is made outside of the discount period is a debit to accounts payable and a credit to cash. We include this in the cash disbursements journal. On April 30th, 
check number 214 is made payable to ACO Inc. The account debited is ACO Inc., the subsidiary portion of accounts payable. We credit cash for the gross amount $3,500. There is no reduction in the value of the inventory as we did not pay within the discount period. There is no other account being debited. The debit is to accounts payable.